Hey guys, Nick here and this is my Linux experiment. Uh, today in this video I would like to show you a few uh, a few niggles, a few a few annoying points that I have with elementary OS. So my experience thus far has been great. Uh, I love the interface, I love the applications, I love the freedom that it provides to install almost anything, uh, whether it be Linux programs or Windows program through Wine, but there are a few points uh, in elementary OS's design choices and apps that drive me a little nuts sometimes. So the first point is window management. Uh, as you can see, elementary OS does not have title bars. A uh, title bar might be what you see here on the top of Firefox, this bar up there, which holds the title and the window controls. Uh, well, you see that most elementary apps does not have, do not have that. Uh, they have a, what they call a header bar. And that means that to drag a window, you have to aim really precisely at a point that there is no content. Because if you click here, it will not drag the window. If you click here, you have to really aim carefully between the buttons and the controls. And it, sometimes it's a bit annoying to, to just aim and click at the right place. And if you have a really small window, you can really have a problem there. So what I found is that you can also press uh, super key, which is the Windows key, and click on the window and you can drag it from everywhere. So that means that the window management is now a lot more useful. A second point that drove me a little bit crazy at the start is the lack of minimize and maximize button. The maximize button is uh, not that much of a problem because you can just drag a window to the top of the screen and it will maximize automatically. Uh, so that's not really a problem, but the minimize button to minimize a window, you have to click on its icon on the dock. So when you have a window on the desktop, it's not a problem. But when you have a full screen window, well, the dock hides. You can set that, uh, that behavior uh, in the dock parameters, but I don't like to have a dock floating over my full screen window, so I just left it as it was. So if I wanted to minimize this window, I would have to hunt in the dock and then hunt for the app icon and click it to minimize. It's a minor point, but it's a bit annoying. So I had to install elementary tweaks, which you can add through a PPA and uh, you can then have uh, in your parameters a little icon which it tweaks. You can go to uh, window controls in the appearance tab, layout, and you can choose, uh, I only chose to add the minimize button, uh, but I could have add also uh, the windows layout with the close maximize minimize, or the standard elementary OS with the close window, the close button on the left. Uh, I could have the Ubuntu, which is the uh, equivalent to Mac OS, which close, maximize, minimize, etc. So I only added the minimize button, which looks not that great, to be honest. Uh, I don't really like the icon, but nonetheless it works. Uh, so these are my points about window management. Now there's a few stuff in the App Center that I find a bit annoying as well. Uh, the App Center is a great app. You can update your, your computer and your apps, and you can install new apps. But the thing is, the search tab. If I start searching for something, uh, let's say a red notebook, well, there's no way for me to come back to, to go back to the home tab or the updates tab easily. I don't know why, but the tabs are hidden. And so to be able to go back to the home tab, I have to click this little icon or just erase everything I typed in here, and then I'll be driven back to, driven back to the home tab. And I found this a little bit odd, because why, why wouldn't you be able to add something here? And why is the search button not working when you're in the updates tab? It could still launch a search through all the apps. So there are a few things, uh, minor things uh, once again, they are not big problems, but still a bit annoying sometimes. Uh, also, the App Center doesn't allow you to install uh, libraries or, or non-graphical apps or packages. It's only for uh, graphical apps. And that's a bit annoying as well, because, well, it's supposed to be your package manager, your default package manager, and well, it's more of an App Center than a package manager in the end, so you cannot install these. So you have to go through the terminal or install Synaptic Package Manager uh, to be able to, to install non-graphical apps. So sometimes it can be a bit boring as well. Uh, one of the really, really minor niggles is the default browser, which is Epiphany, which is a pretty competent browser. You have your tabs, you have your extensions if you want them. You can uh, you can enable an ad blocker in the, here. Uh, you can set up pop-up windows. Uh, you can disable ads in the preferences. So it works pretty well. But in the end, it's not a really great default browser anyway, so most people will install Chrome or Firefox, so why not provide one of these by default? Uh, probably because Epiphany looks and feels like an elementary app with the header bar, etc. But still, sometimes I like my defaults to be my defaults, you know? So, well, of course you can change the default apps, so that's not really a big problem. You can go to applications and, and switch between the browsers you have installed in the web browser uh, category. 
so that's not really a, that big of a deal. And uh, well, that's about it for my elementary OS uh, niggles and problems. Uh, oh, that's my save going down here. Um, so well, as you can see, these are really, really small problems. You know, they're not huge things by any means. Uh, you also have a few, a few annoying things in the notification panel. As you can see, well, the icons are dependent on the app that you have installed. Here is pCloud, which is my cloud. Um, it's not a white icon as the rest, or well, you know, maybe my OCD is kicking in. But the thing that I really don't like is the treatment of older notification icons. As you can see, I've got to launch uh, Steam through Wine, and as you know, Steam on Windows has a little notification icon. While on elementary OS, this notification icon, the Wine notification icon system, does not use the standard or newer uh, notification icon thing. So, it just shows up in a small window. So this is my notification icon. Instead of having it here, I have it in a small window here that that's, it just makes no sense. So why would it be shown there and not there? Why can't support be added for these types of notifications in here? I don't know, there's probably a technical issue or maybe it's not just, just not worth it to work on that. But still, it's a bit annoying. So well, this is it for my, uh, for my uh, little niggles, uh, bits and problems with elementary OS and uh, well, if you have solutions for any of them, uh, don't hesitate to, to leave a comment below. And uh, well, in the meantime, I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye.